guys, I hope you're all doing really well. Today I'm going to be sharing with you the first update for my Roulette Pan Collab Round 7 Project Pan. This Project Pan is a massive collaborative Project Pan that myself and my friend Alexi started forever ago and it's just such a fun Project Pan. However, this round is a little different because we have a hundred categories that were created by the community that are the prompts for this project. So it's really exciting seeing it becoming so much more of a community effort and it's just been an absolute blast being a part of this project pan and you can find more updates as well as just more content on this project pan both in the playlist which I will have linked in the end card as well as in my description box of this video and of course over on Instagram if you search the hashtag roulette pan collab you can find tons of content over there it's so cool I feel like my feed is constantly being filled with roulette pan collab updates so it's just super super cool and you definitely should go check out all of that content go check out my friend alexi as well i feel like she's gonna have way more progress than i do i'm gonna just give you a heads up not a great update for me i am filming this nearly a week in advance and i was on vacation for a week and i only took one of these products with me so i only have about two weeks of progress here so not the best, but it is what it is. So let's just hop right into all of my progress. In the introduction of this project, I did select six products from the spreadsheet. I will have that linked down in my description box as well for any of you guys who would like to join in and become a part of this project pan, or if you just like to reference it for some panning inspiration. But I'm gonna share with you guys all of the categories that I selected and those products that I chose based on those categories. So the first category that I randomly chose was a product from the category that you're best at panning. I think I'm best at panning lip glosses just because that's what I've been reaching for um, lately and I reach for it multiple times a day versus things like concealer or eyeshadow. You just use them once a day kind of thing. So I am probably best at panning lip glosses. Lipsticks, not at all, but lip glosses. So I chose actually a tinted lip oil because it does function in the same kind of way. And I chose this e.l.f. tinted lip oil. This is in the shade Nude Kiss. I started up here at the beginning of this project um, a month ago, and I'm down to this line right here. I really have very little product left in here. I hope that you can actually see because there is still some product on the side, so it's kind of hard to tell, but yeah, I let the product settle last night and there's really nothing left in here, especially once I pull out the doe foot, which is broken. But once I pull out the doe foot, there's even less product in there. So this will be done for sure for the next update. This is just a really hydrating lip product. I can toss this on in the middle of class and it's just kind of functions like a lip balm, but it gives me a little bit of color and a little bit of like lusciousness on my lips. So it's really nice. I've just been reaching for this almost compulsively as of late and it's just, it's a beautiful product. I know for sure it'll be done next update and um, this will be the second one of these that I've actually gone through in a matter of a year, I think. So it is definitely a favorite of mine and uh, yeah, I'm really enjoying using it and reaching for it. My next prompt was a product that starts with the first letter of your first name and I really was struggling with that. My name is Rebecca, as you guys know, and our products are not that very frequent in my collection. I do have a couple red lipsticks that start with red or rouge or whatever, but I really did not want to put myself in that sort of situation. As I've said in probably every single video for the last like six months that I've been in school, I'm just not really feeling lipstick lately. I just do like lip gloss basically every single day or lip balm just for the ease of it. But here we are. I did end up choosing a lipstick, but I just could not go with a bold red. You know what I mean? So I chose this RMS Beauty mini lipstick. The brand is RMS. I kind of... Uh, tweaked the category a little bit there, but this is in the shade Temptation. And I had never even used this before I put this in this project pan. So I don't have a ton of um, progress that I've made over the last month, but either way, I have made a little bit of progress and I am wearing this shade today. It is a little bit of a deep nude for me. It's uh, a little bit more bold than I was maybe expecting when I saw it in the bullet, but either way, it is an absolutely gorgeous color and a really comfortable formula. I just don't find myself reaching for it a lot. So I have worn it to work twice and 
at school. I think I wore it once, but I just let it fade off and I never reapplied it. So that's why my progress is very minimal. I did mark it after I used it today, but either way, progress is extremely minimal. My goal is to use up half of what is in here. I don't think that's unattainable based on how far I am at the moment, but it probably is gonna take me until the end of this project. My next prompt was a product that's only available in your country, and for that I chose this Annabelle Waterline Luminous Eyeliner in the shade Champagne. Apparently Annabelle's not only available in Canada, so my bad on that one. I honestly thought that it was only available here because it is a Canadian brand. Um, otherwise, I honestly don't know what's available only in Canada. Maybe Joe Fresh, like Joe Fresh Beauty, or maybe Marcel, which I think is like a sister company to Annabelle. I honestly don't know. Let me know if either of those brands are available in your country. Not that I'm going to, I'm going to eliminate that from my spreadsheet now anyway, so I won't draw that category again, but just so I know for my own reference, if you guys have Joe Fresh or Marcel in your country, or if you're Canadian and you know of something that's exclusively available in Canada, maybe like probably Nova Scotia Fisherman, but that's not a makeup brand. I don't tend to pan anything other than makeup generally. I really can't think of anything that's exclusively in Canada. I honestly thought that this was. So regardless, anyways, we're really off topic already. Okay, so when it comes to this eyeliner, I had barely used it, so I set myself a goal of using it up until the line um, where the font starts, so right here at the end of the letter X. You can see I'm nowhere near that in my markings. You can see I've used like one single little millimeter of product. That's because I just, honestly, I'm not enjoying this. I love the matte version of these eyeliners. That's why I ended up picking this up when I finished a couple of color pop cream gel liners I had finished get paid as well as um, the nude shade I cannot remember what it's called and I wanted something that kind of functioned like both of those so that's why I went for this luminous one it does not really transfer onto my waterline so you can see I can swatch it and it does have some serious pigmentation and that little bit of sheen but I am wearing it in my waterline today I don't want to get like too close to the camera but I am wearing it in my waterline today and it's so sheer and my waterline because it does have that moisture this just ends up putting pigment in some really weird spots like between my lashes but not actually on my waterline so i'm not really drawn to using this it just doesn't function like the other one i've even used a q-tip to kind of like dry out my waterline which is such a gross sensation and then put this on top hoping to get this kind of impact and it's still just it dissipates it's not the most pigmented and, and it's quite sheer and just patchy so that's really unfortunate but I am going to try to reach that goal line either way I'm going to really try to amp up my usage of this try to make this almost like an everyday staple even though I don't love the way it looks it still it still it does give me a little bit of brightness in my waterline but yeah a little bit of a flop product I am happy that I've been reaching for it and trying it out and seeing how I feel about it because it was virtually unused in my collection until this point but yeah I am kind of disappointed by it and um, it's gonna be a bit of a struggle to reach that goal my next prompt was a product from a limited edition or holiday collection so I chose this ColourPop Super Shock Cheek from their, I believe it was their third birthday collection and this is in the shade Blow Me Out. It's an absolutely beautiful, beautiful Super Shock Cheek color. It's a like bronzy highlighter and you can see it is a touch too deep for me, like you can definitely tell it would be too deep even now that I do have a little bit more of a tan than I did when I put this into the project pan. But I have managed to get some use out of it. I haven't actually compared the pictures yet, so I'm curious to see if it's visible progress. But either way, I know I've reached for this quite a bit. I've actually worn this primarily as more of like a glowy primer. I don't really use this on top of my complexion products, but I've mixed it in with primers or I've just kind of like touched it on the high points of my face and like around my cheeks to kind of give me, give me like a little bit of a glowy bronze. And I do really like it that way. So I have been able to get some use out of it. My shoulders and my arms are significantly more tan than my face and neck. So when I was on vacation, I brought this with me and I would like pack it on my shoulders when we went out for dinner. I'd pack it onto my collarbones and down the front of my legs if I had my legs exposed for dinner that night. So I have been reaching for it and I've been making sure to get some use out of it. 
I'm just gonna continue to use it for the entirety of this project pan. Hopefully we get some summer weather in like May, <laughs> like at the very end of this project, hopefully it gets some summer weather so I can really use this on my body again. But either way, I'm really enjoying reaching for it. It's such a beautiful product and um, I'm happy to use it while it's still nice and fresh and creamy still. My next prompt was a color you're always drawn to but rarely wear and for that I chose this ColourPop Volumizing Mascara. This is the BFF Mascara in the shade Purple Pros. I'm always drawn to the idea of colored mascaras. I feel like there's something that I always want to pick up and purchase and I want to integrate into my looks and play with, but I haven't used this in the last like six months prior to this project. So it really did kind of fit that description and I'm really happy to say that I reached for this four times this month. I only used it on my lower lashes. I never used it on my upper lashes this month, but either way, four uses in one month is definitely significantly better than it has been in the past, yeah, like five or six months or so. So I'm really happy that I've been reaching for this. My pan those eyeshadows at the moment really gave me an opportunity to reach for this as well because I am panning two more purpley shades in that project. So pairing this with those has just been great. I'm so happy to be reaching for this. I'm just going to continue to reach for it over the coming months and Hopefully by the end of this project, I'll feel like I really got enough use out of it because it definitely is expired at this point. I have had it for over a year and it's been open all that time. So yeah, after this project, it probably will have to be something I declutter or consider empty at that point. And my final prompt was yellow, which is for the packaging or the product itself. For that prompt, I chose my Physicians Formula Butter Blush in the shade Natural Glow. I know this packaging is primarily pink, but the font on the back as well as on the front, and there's a little hint of yellow here, so I felt like it fit the bill for that prompt a little loosely, but it definitely fit it. And my goal with this is to hit pan on it. You can see I have not yet done that but I've been reaching for this so, so much because I really do love the way that this product blends all of my complexion products together. I am wearing it today and you can see I have like this really healthy glow on my skin without it being like too artificial. I do have highlight on on the top of my cheekbones here, but I feel like this just really blends my bronzer, my blush together in this way that is just so seamless and almost like ethereal. I don't know. I love the way that this looks on my skin. I'm so happy to be reaching for it because I do want to eventually get it out of my collection. Physicians Formula is no longer a brand that I consider to be cruelty free, which is really, really heartbreaking. It really is an unfortunate thing uh, for the cruelty free community, but I'm going to enjoy it while it still is a part of my collection and hopefully I can hit pan on it in the next month or so. I honestly, I don't know where the heck the pan is with this. I've used this a ton, but hopefully next month we'll see some pan. Otherwise, I really do want to hit pan on it before the end of this project pan so that I can, I'm thinking long term, but I'm thinking I will put this into my graveyard project pan when I start that project at the end of May, I think. So uh, yeah, I'm really hoping to hit pan on this soon. So kind of a boring update this month. However, I know for sure I will be able to roll something new in the place of that tinted lip oil next update. Maybe, maybe I'll be able to roll something in the place of that um, Physicians Formula blush, but either way, I am really enjoying doing this project and using all of these products from my collection. I cannot wait to binge watch the playlist and add more videos to the playlist with everyone's updates coming out. So I hope that you will do the same, but otherwise, thank you guys so, so much for watching and for hanging out with me and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.